Hello, this is Melorian, and now this will be 35 points of Epic Thagrosh against Epic Sorsha. So, with Ryus dying in the last game, the league rules say I have to switch my caster. So, I'm going with my lazy caster, which is Epic Thagrosh. If I ever want to make a list quick, I just take him, throw some beast in, I'm done. So, in this one here, I have the six shredders, I have Typhon, Scythian, a Feral Geist, and a Rayek, and of course, Epic Thagrosh. Nice and simple, rush up, kill stuff. Uh, the mission we have here is the one where you're trying to destroy the different monoliths. They hop over, destroy it again, and you win. And I'm up against Epic Sorsha. And so you can see here, he runs double Winter Guard. The one on the right is the one that has all the UA and all that fun stuff. Uh, he has two units of the Mana Wars here, the Demo Core on the left, and then the regular tough guys there on the right. Uh, he also, just like that other opponent, went, went with only the one Jack, the one Juggernaut, and then he has Kovnak Joe and Esorsha, and that's it. So with all these medium guys here, that actually I think is going to work well because of how with my boosted attacks and stuff, uh, I can go up there, I can uh, just feet, and then hopefully I can just kill the, a whole bunch of them. So really my plan is to kind of go after the mission on the left, and then if I need to, then I can just go up feet and just kill a whole bunch of stuff and go for the caster kill. So I get first turn, just moving all up, I got the Dragon's Blood on the Scythian, and that's all that's important. His turn one, moving on up, he has tough on the guys on the right, he actually put Iron Flesh onto his Demo Core, I didn't really expect that. And uh, the way that he moved his Winter Guard on the left, I, I just can't wait to hit them with Typhon Sprays. So then my turn two, I, I thought about making this my feed turn, but I thought there was no rush. Um, you know, I, I am kind of spread out here. He has a lot of guys, so I got to kind of thin the ranks. So I really went to concentrate on the left side, and between the sprays and the two shredders, he almost lost the entire unit. And then otherwise, yeah, I think I did a... That's it. I didn't do anything there on the right. I'm just set up the counter. Uh, so other than making the monolith have one more armor, I'm just all set up so that when he moves up, I can go and try and kill his guys with my feet turn. His turn two, and he was uh, a little bit more aggressive than I thought. He put up a spell on the one front demo core guy where he gets some extra range and some uh, pathfinder. And so he's able to go and do one smack on the Scythian, doing some damage. Otherwise, everything's taking positions on the wall there, and uh, his shots did quite a bit. I have quite a few of my shredders that are almost dead, and so the worst thing there is, I mean, of course, once I start killing stuff, they can start snacking and healing themselves, but that's going to take quite the investment of fury to make it so that at least they can be hitting normally, or I can be putting up the rabid. My turn three, then, and this could be described as my turn of fail, uh, on the left side there, I, you know, I just want to finish off the Winter Guard so that next turn Typhon was free, but it took more resources than I thought. Uh, Thagrosh, because of all the healing he had to, could do uh, to actually get the Shredders worthwhile, wasn't able to put up the Manifest Destiny, and then when he charged in to try and kill these stupid Demo Core guys, even though he had dropped Iron Flesh, I was just doing you know, like 7 damage, and so I just kept on needing to buy, I was missing attacks, and I thought he was going to be clearing out all the Man of Wars that were there, and that just didn't happen. The second, or next part of the fail is that I was going to go and send in the Scythian to go and deal with uh, the one Juggernaut there, and I thought that, you know, I, I should be alright, even though he has a wall bonus, he has low defense, but I just wasn't able to hit, even when I boosted, it, I just didn't do anything. <clears throat> and it wasn't until now that I realized that he's bonded, and that everything within two inches that ends is frozen. So my first idea was just to clear out the stuff over here, and then, especially during that free move, I was going to shift over and make a defensive wall around Thagrosh. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. So that's not good. I had to kind of sacrifice one shredder just to kind of hope and throw it in the line there. And then there on the right, yeah, just wasn't able to do as much as I thought. Just, of course, wasn't rolling to, to be able to hit. So that kind of failed. Uh, you can see all I did. That's between all their normal stuff and the feet. And so I'm not really happy with this turn. So, victory to Epic Sorsha, and this is just one of those games where I just kind of feel stupid, right? It's one of those ones where you, you face something for the first time, and it just kicks you in the butt, and then you never forget it again. So, 
uh, yeah, having all those guys frozen really didn't help. Had some bad dice rolls, but I could have come back with it. And then one of the things that was also stupid is that pretty much at that point where I'd screwed up and things were stationary, I basically gave up and just kind of figured I'd lost. And one of the things I could have done that would have really helped is I had the feral guys there that could have jumped into the different lessers he was killing, uh, making it harder for him to get to Thagrosh with the Juggernaut. So... I mean, even with that, I'm sure he could have—he was going to kill me off anyway, but I could have tried a little bit harder there. I just kind of gave up, something that you should never do. So, uh, anyway, yeah, lost to me, and thanks for watching my stupidity. <laughs> okay, bye.